Hello, and welcome to a video review of The Amazing Heroes Volume 11 Tamaki Amajiki Sunita Statue. That was a mouthful. Uh, yes, today, so I'm kind of excited. I don't think I've opened any Amazing Heroes line of My Hero Academia statues. Um, I don't think I cottoned on to that when I pre-ordered this, actually. I mostly collect Age of Heroes, so I'm hoping this kind of scales. Um, this is by Banpresto, as we can see here. And Jaya? Now I feel like I've opened something by Jaya before. Maybe it's the uh, Gogeta from Dragon Ball Z? I can't remember. But today, anyway, it's all about Tamaki. Um, Tam sorry, Tamaki. T not Tamaki. Uh, weirdly, actually, I'll show you in a second, this packaging never mentions the name Sun Eater anyway. Uh, but we'll have a look at all the shots. So his face looks quite nice and detailed. See, body shot there, and that is him in general. So it says, The Amazing Heroes, Volume 11, Tamaki Amajiki, uh, and his quirk is Manifest. Uh, but it doesn't mention he's called Sun Eater, which is strange, because I thought that would be on the like packaging and stuff. And on the top, we have The Amazing Heroes. So this is a line that's been going on a while, I think, um, as long as The Age of Heroes, which I've been collecting. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see the difference. So without further ado, I'm going to slice this open and pull this bad boy out of the box. Alright, here we go. This is a big old box as well, so I'm assuming it's not going to be the same scale as Age of Heroes, which tend to be kind of small-ish, I suppose. Ooh, the packaging is certainly different as well. Oh, we've got a serial number there, in case that interests anyone. His hand is just sticking out as if, like, help me. All right, well, we'll get you out, Tamaki. Don't worry. Oh, Okay, I'm gonna delicately slice this cardboard, so I'll be right back. Okay, that was certainly a delicate thing, but it doesn't seem anything snapped or looked bent, which is good. So, as with any other statues that you'd buy like this, it comes in, like, Oh, okay, two different parts, fair enough. I was expecting it to be a bit more finicky with a cape or something, but no, it seems everything's pretty normal. Right, I'm gonna go ass uh, assemble Tamaki then, and we'll be back to take a look at the finished thing. All right, and we are back. So, here he is, in all his assembled glory. A uh, little bit little bit finicky to put the feet on. Um, you've kind of got to, basically they snap once they fit in, if that makes sense. As in, like, you get a snapping noise, they don't snap. Um, so it, 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 it takes a little bit of work, but you know, it's not so bad. So, um, as you can tell, he's got a Mega Man blaster on his arm, and I thought we'd, we'd take that off together. So, let's go. Oh, oh. All right then. That's pretty cool, although it's strange. So that part is like, I suppose maybe it's just in case it bends and like pushes against his body or whatever, because that hand is modelled as well. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Right, well, it's time to take a look at Sun Eater in all his glory. So the first thing I've noticed, actually, this is a bit of a lighter um, statue. Actually, no, maybe, I think... When I put the bottom on the base, I noticed this was super light, but actually... As you can probably tell, this is where the weight is, so, um, yeah, right, let, let's get into it. So the base is kind of clear, it's a lot bigger than Age of Heroes, but it's because he's spread out, and sure if he stood up, it'd be smaller and stuff. So the first thing to notice is he is barefoot, um, obviously because of his quirk, all of his body, or, can he, I think he can trans transform certain parts into certain animals or whatever, isn't it? The heat? I don't know. I really like Sun Eater. Um, I'm hoping he shows up more in Season 5 when I get around to kind of catching up with it. But regardless, those are very, very well modelled toes. Not a, not a line I thought I'd say in any of my statues re statue reviews ever, but uh, there we go. We've got the kind of fabric uh, bends and stuff that all statues have these days, but I always appreciate regardless, and if you're curious, he is wearing these ninja legging things all the way up. Uh, so, we get onto his belt, which I really like here, they've kind of done a um, cool thing. So obviously these are the pouches he keeps all the bits of food in, so he can change into different animals. 
Uh, and I like that it looks kind of dynamic. So this one is obviously being pushed up by his uh, right leg there. So it's kind of elevated, whereas the rest are dangling from him. And he's got his chest thing. It's kind of cool. I, I, I really like his outfit design because it looks a bit samurai-esque, but obviously it, it's not. Um, and then we get on to the gold trim, which uh, I've got to say, it looks pretty darn nice. He's got a... You know, it's decently shiny without being, like, os ostentatious and, like, overboard. It's it's very it's very nice. Obviously, hands, I mean, anything by band press, so you're pretty guaranteed to have awesome hand sculpting these days. Um, I mean, maybe they've got some kind of sculpt that they use on loads of different things, but um, that's pretty cool. I feel like I've not seen a statue with that kind of hand pose before. And, of course, you've got the shoulder pads as well. Which is very nice. And um, then we get on to one of the reasons I bought this, to be honest. Um, as I've probably mentioned on this channel way too many times, I really like capes for some reason. I don't understand it. I'm like that, that woman from The Incredibles. Wait, no. I'm not like that woman from The Incredibles. She hates capes, right? Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that. But yeah, this man, this... Oh, just look at that. Look at that, ah, oh, just the sort of modelling of a flowing cape is, ah, oh, I'm a sucker for it. I don't know, I just, I look, ah, oh, look, they've even got like, the, the taping, ta taping, tapering, that's the one, of like it at the end where, you know, momentum is like carried there and that's just following, ah, oh, that's really cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, in, in a higher in a higher sort of priced model, maybe this would have like texturing or something that, you know, you could look at like really close and it would look like cloth or something. But honestly, that's, is that not cool? That is like, that is fluidity right there. You can tell exactly he is moving forward. It's, ah, uh, oh, this is cool. And to my knowledge also, the only Sun Eater statue that they've released. I know there's the Small World Collection figure, Sun Eater, who's like... I, I'm not a massive fan of the World Collection series because they're, they're kind of chibi and their bodies are small and I like everything scaled, to be honest. Um, right, anyway, and then the final bit is his face, which looks really cool. Um, he So he's looking up like directly up as you can tell from his pupils there that is very cool they've like oh man they've modeled his teeth and his tongue that is uh really cool he's got like the metallic bits to his hood oh and um this i really like so obviously he's not wearing his hood right now but they've still like modeled it as it would be as he'd had you know the thing and they've even gone to the point of making the gold trim on the hood despite the fact like it's kind of hidden, and to be honest, like, who's going to look at that part of the statue? No one, but the fact that they've done that, I mean, I, I know maybe I'm gushing over something that is just standard for statues, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of new to statues, so, ah, it, it's just something I really appreciate. And obviously he's got the elf ears, um, well, I, I say elf ears, they're, they're pointy. It is the My Hero Academia universe. Uh, everyone looks different, you know. And the hair, obviously, very Sasuke-esque. Um, yeah, just that face right there. That That's probably one of the better faces, I think, of the statues. Not that the others have been bad or anything, or, you know, even passable. They've been good, but, like, that right there, that's very detailed. Like, um, I can't remember the price point of Amazing Heroes in comparison to Age of Heroes, but uh, this is definitely been a very good purchase. I'm going to uh, drop the camera level a little bit now, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I put the box in the background as well. Obviously, as with all the other ones, you can quite easily uh, replicate that angle. I'm a bit low at the moment, but I prefer it like this. So yeah, um, time for the final verdict. I I am really happy with this, actually. Um, I'd say the like level of detailing and everything is on level with Age of Heroes. The scale, I'm pretty sure, is a little bit off. I think he's bigger than um, the Age of Heroes characters, but 
If you've seen my other My Hero Academia statue reviews, he's probably in scale with the All Might, I think. So I'm going to take a few photos uh, after this review, so stick around for that, because it'll be like a collage of the, the different photos I've taken, of different angles, and maybe with other statues and stuff, just to see the scale, so, you know, stick around for that. But honestly, overall, if I had to give this a rating out of 10, I'd definitely give it an 8. Maybe, maybe a 9. Just because of that really cool cape. Um, I, I just, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Like, it looks great from both angles and stuff. I think that maybe looks better. I think that's, that's definitely the best angle you could put him in. Because, uh, obviously as well, he's looking up there. So you'll probably want to display him this side. But... There's nothing wrong with displaying him that side. That looks just as cool, to be honest. And um, yeah, I'm really digging the pose, the, the the coloring and stuff. I mean, I know it's not super complex coloring. He's white, black, and gold. But you know, still, that it's it it's just a really well made statue. I think um, if you're a fan of Sun Eater's design, as I am, this at the moment is your only option but also it's not a bad option either i i would recommend this personally um i think he's going to look good as part of the collection so um i'm gonna go grab my other statues now and sort of play about with them or um, take photos and stuff like a grown man does um right and i think that wraps up the review thank you very much for sticking around till the end i'll leave a playlist the rest of my statue reviews as well they're mostly my hero academia but there's one or two others that aren't and um i've got a few other videos planned and stuff not really my hero academia themed but you know they're going to be figures and trading cards because that's that that's my channel now uh, <laughs> i say that like it's a bad thing that's that's what my channel's always been, so it's it's a good thing. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I am looking at a tower of, of unopened figures. Uh, anyway, I'll stop rambling now and wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, here's a photo montage of Sonita hanging out with the other heroes. And until next time, goodbye. goodbye.